Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we've got a brand new video of the version 12 spring update that is going to be coming to your Tesla very, very soon. It seems like this was leaked in a different country and we were able to get this video loaded because it seems like that person might have gotten banned already. So let's take a look at it. But before we get into any of that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to my latest Patreon member, Vincent. Thank you for supporting. If you want to check it out, Patreon link down below in the description so let's take a look at this shout out to nick for posting this tesla's new version 12 ui for model y in action up close graphics are fire so you can see this is very 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 similar to the cybertruck ui that is already out there it seems like they were planning to do this from the get-go and to be able to have this vehicle your vehicle your tesla front front dab right in the center so you can mess around with it and i wonder if there's gonna be an easter egg on this too where you can tap the glass and break the windows and things like that but you can see it is a much different layout for your tesla ui and pretty nice because you can have all the different functions and controls and i would assume when you're driving around you could minimize the map just like you can do it on the tesla cyber truck here is some more things this seems to be from a different country it seems like for some reason they got it earlier than we did but it's gonna be labeled as 2024 point one four here's the new charging screen as you can see on the left side right there with all the different stats on how fast how much electricity has been uploaded to your vehicle uploaded and been pushed to your vehicle as well here's another video you can see the regen bar of the driving is on the left side right here as you're driving this is what it would look like if you're driving around in autopilot or whatever you can see the ui of the autopilot system can be taken over the whole screen Shout out to Tesla Newswire for posting this power, power consumption region bar is now vertical with the Tesla spring update. So pretty excited for this. Can't wait to see this actually roll out because I don't think we're going to get this on our Model X, which is unfortunate. I don't know why, maybe a little bit later, but Model 3 and Model Y owners with the AMD chip are going to be able to get it. Here is the full list. If you, in case you missed it, if you didn't see from what you saw or what you, if unless you didn't see this actual full list, feel free to push pause on this stream or video so you can read all of them as, as as you want but tesla also did post a post about it as well of the new features coming with the new 2024.14 release and then here's another one of the enhanced autopilot screen you can see it can show you all different visualizations if you're driving around in tesla autopilot Pretty cool to see. Can't wait to actually see this come out for the Model 3 and the Model Y. And here's just another one if you're looking for the visualizations and, of course, Rainbow Road as well, which is a very, very, very nice feature. But let me know what your thoughts on that. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic, but just a quick word from our partner. But before we get into our next topic, we all love saving money, right? And we hate overpaying. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Mint Mobile for our daily live streams how much are you paying for your mobile plan and what do you actually get speed coverage data access to 5g unlimited talk and text and mobile hotspot even well mint offers all of these features for as low as 15 dollars a month they're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. 
don't be duped. Go to trymidmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. Thanks for that, everybody. Tapia, thanks for coming in. Need to see this video. Hope you're doing well, Dennis. Thanks for keeping us up to date with the links and news. Hope you get to 100K subs soon. Thank you for dropping by, Tapia. Hopefully, you're doing well as well. And on top of that, a couple channel announcements. Uh, let me think. Uh, Tenant is giving away a free electric vehicle charger. So if you're interested in Tenant, definitely check out their Tenant link down below in the description. All on top of that, uh, inventory discounts or there's none, but there's demo discounts. But if you're looking to purchase a Tesla, don't forget to use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. So you can get three months of full self-driving, which is valued at $600. Super. Are you a Tesla shareholder? Yes, we are actually. David. Thanks for coming in. Do you think the Model 3 Ludacris is going to be released 420? I think so, yeah. If that, if not, maybe less than that. And also, David, you are you are our giveaway winner. I dropped off your package yesterday, so if you check that tracking number, it should be in route to you. Congrats to you again for winning the Tesla Sipping Glasses giveaway. And we got to figure out what other giveaway. we got to figure out what we're going to give away in uh, May as well, uh, for sure. we got to figure out what, what that actually is going to be. In this next topic, we've got a list, a list of differences of all the differences between a Tesla Model 3 ludicrous performance and the all-wheel drive version. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Mike, CyberOwners.com. He posted this, new Model 3 ludicrous upgrade versus the new all-wheel drive. Here's everything that's listed that's different between the current all-wheel drive and what's supposed to be on the brand new performance ludicrous. Here's what it is. Performance seats with ventilations. They look amazing. I would concur. The performance seats in the brand new ludicrous are pretty sick. They're almost as cool as like the Model S Plaid ones and no, no, I got to say, if the Model 3 performance comes under $55,000, it's going to be hard for me not to put a deposit down because it just seems like such an exciting vehicle, uh, certainly on how it looks and everything. Number two, upgraded suspension and brakes. We know that the Model 3 performance is going to have active electric suspension dampening. So this will be make this will make this might make it feel more comfortable and definitely more sporty. We got forged performance wheels. This was overhyped, I think, because I think all performance wheels are forged but maybe i'm wrong with that but yes comes with new warped wheels that are forged performance wheels we got carbon fiber interior that's kind of the same as was before we got a new drivetrain drivetrain and a rumored zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds allegedly and i certainly think that makes sense and we can see that there's a lot more upgrades in the model 3 performance versus the current all-wheel drive version versus the old model 3 performance versus the old all-wheel drive really there wasn't much i mean this list is kind of wrong yes it's quicker larger brace and larger wheels but don't forget you get these cool aluminum pedals you get the cool carbon fiber spoiler and uh, i guess the suspension was basically the same so they've really made a lot of enhancement in updates and so this is why Mike Cyber Owners is saying something tells me that this is going to be more than a simple $5,000 premium over the all wheel drive like the old one was. Because if you take a look at the current or the current Model 3 Highland, you will see that uh, it certainly is priced, I think, like 47 or 48. Let's see, 47,740. So I guess we could see like a 54. That's what, seven grand more? I could see that being realistic. And uh, certainly that would be nice because it'd be under that $55,000 threshold, which is only half of what the vehicle needs to qualify for the tax rate. You got to remember battery and manufacturing restrictions still apply to that. So we'll see if it actually qualifies for that. And if you're just, ca just in case you're wondering all the different things, here's another list from Tesla Newswire of the Model 3 Ludacris. But let me know, when do you think this Model 3 Ludacris is actually coming out? Do you think it's going to be April 20th? 
420. That would be a hilarious day if it actually is that day. It could be that day. I mean, certainly around that time, it's going to be right before the earnings call. But I actually asked all of you out there, when do you think the Model 3 Ludicrous Performance is coming out? And so an overwhelming 55% said 420, which 420 is this Saturday. So pretty interesting there. But I guess there's only a couple of people that know exactly when, or not more than a couple of people. But uh, when we see a bunch of those reviews come out on YouTube from like MKHB and like all the different reviewers that reviewed the Cybertruck early on, and that's when you'll know that the Model 3 Highland Ludicrous is actually out. Uh, second place came out, came in at uh, 424 or after. So maybe this is thinking that they're going to let the month close because there's going to be potentially an Osborne effect. So maybe they're going to let that month close before releasing the Model 3 Ludicrous because I can tell you there's probably going to be a lot of people on the sidelines that have Model 3 long range orders that once they see the Model 3 Ludicrous they're going to they're going to say, hmm, and maybe try and convert and change their order or just hold off on their Model 3 long range. So maybe that's what they might push it all the way till May 1st. I hope they don't, but uh, you never know at the end of the day what they'll actually do. And they could change it. They could be thinking they're going to do it on April 20th and then change it at the last second. But let me know what your thoughts are on. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link. We support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. All better than Tesla financing. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. EY, thanks for coming in. Do you think creep mode will come back to the 2024 model? Why? I don't think so. Creep mode, I think they turned it off because of like power usage. Tesla 54, thanks for coming in. Ludicrous release date, 420 is my guess. 2023 Model 3, 6K miles, 3,800, a good deal? Nah, I don't think so. That car, pfft, unless it's, it's, I would say 2022 Model 3 performance for under 25K, that's the deal right there. Cyberjet, when's Cyberbeast coming? Video coming? Probably maybe tonight or tomorrow. Model 3 Ludicrous looks amazing in red, in my opinion. Yeah, I think the Model 3 high land looks amazing in red super when will tesla go back to model y price cuts probably by the end of june Mike, do we have any idea what is referenced on the website source code leaked by enhancements to running lights? Actually, no idea. Maybe it's like the LED lights or something like that to that effect with that. Cyberjet, found out Ionic 6 owners, they haven't had issues. Maybe we should get a one next. Lesser insurance, Model 3. Also, the does the Ionic 6 front headlights look kind of like the old Model 3 frog headlights? Yeah, they kind of look nice. I mean, I like the design of the Ionic 6, and uh, I think they were giving them away. Like, my friend was telling me, like, you can get them from like $100 to $200 a month, which is absolutely insane. Super had a Ionic as a rental car and was not a fan of all oh, limited chargers yeah every other manufacturer is going to have issues except like rivian now because rivian has ac access to the supercharger network including ford but uh, certainly a lot of them are going to have issues with charging on road trips and things like that but thanks for jumping in everybody thanks for supporting thanks for hitting the like button definitely also check out our tesla accessory discount codes down below in the description if you want to support the channel we got tesbros vion jawa for the best interior accessories and we got mag back as well last one test 54 you think the current model 3 prices will decrease in price when the ludicrous comes out yeah 100 percent. it's a just a natural progression for sure christian when will the new model y come out it's gonna be next year for sure i would say i mean some people were saying like quarter three quarter four of this year i mean i could see it but most likely i think it's gonna be like quarter one quarter two just like how the model 3 highland came out this year quarter one or quarter two but when will be able? When will be able? When will we be able to get the Quicksilver color? Uh, maybe like next, uh, and probably this quarter actually, because they've been ramping up for some, for some reason. Blueberry, the UI looks good. Yeah, I think it looks great. And uh, sad, it's only coming out for the Model Three and Model Y. I want it on our. I want to honor Model X. But thanks for coming in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, the comments, and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.